Hello, I'm Jill at ingvid.com and today we have a lesson on um, an auxiliary modal verb, uh, could, the use of could. Um, so there are two ways, well, we have five ways that it's used here, but could comes either from as the past tense of, of the verb can, which is also an auxiliary modal verb, can, could in the past, um, or it's used an, as an auxiliary verb um, with, with other verbs combined. So sorry, that sounds very complicated, but I hope it becomes clearer with the sentences to illustrate how it can be used. Okay, so first of all, just to show the simple past tense of can, if I can do something, I can do something today, yesterday I could do it as well, or I couldn't do it yesterday. You could use the negative as well. So, um, first sentence then. At one time in the past, I could run a mile and not get out of breath. So to get out of breath is when um, you've been running a lot and then you, you can't, you, you're breathing very quickly and you have to wait for your body to, to get back to normal. And um, if you're running also, it might be painful and you have to stop. So that's getting out of breath, okay? So at one time in the past, I could run a mile. I can't say now in the present, I can run a mile because I can't, okay? But in the past, at one time, I could run a mile and not get out of breath, okay? So that's just the past tense of can. But then the other four examples are where it's used as an auxiliary modal verb um, with, with different ways of using it. So we have four different ways of using it here. Uh, first of all, number two here is a polite request. So instead of can I, you say could I. Could I borrow your pen please, just for a moment? Could I borrow your pen please? If you say can I, it's okay, but it's not quite as polite. So um, if you really want the person to, to say, yes, of course, um, if you're polite, they are more likely to let you borrow their pen. So could, could I please? So we've got could I, and we've also got please at the end. Or you could put, put it please nearer the beginning. Please, please could I? Could I please? Any order. Could I borrow your pen, please, just for a moment? So that's a polite request. Okay. And then the third uh, sentence is when you're saying that something is possible. You're telling somebody something is possible if, if they do something. So this is called a conditional. Okay. And that we have lots of uh, video lessons on conditionals, so do have a look for those. Um, so here is an example. You could get good marks in the exam if you study every day. So the conditional could often use as if, because you have a choice. Are you going to study every day? and get good marks in the exam? Or are you going to maybe study once or twice a week and then you get to the exam and you don't do so well? Or um, what's your choice? So this is your, t your teacher, your tutor might tell you, you could get good marks in the exam if you study every day, if you work hard regularly every day. 
So that's a possibility, a conditional. Right, so then number four, this is a polite way of maybe giving a criticism or suggesting something isn't right, there's a mistake or something may have gone wrong. Uh, if you say, I could be wrong, but, I could be wrong, but, I think there's a mistake, an error in these figures. So if you're looking at some accounts and the figures in columns and they're supposed to add up accurately um, and you look at it and you think this doesn't look right. If you're a, an accounting genius, uh, you can maybe see immediately something isn't right. The, the figures don't balance or something. So, but you don't want to say, oh, that's wrong. That's not right. You, you don't want to be so direct. Um, so you're very careful uh, when you begin your sentence. I could be wrong, but I think... So you're not saying, I know, I can see there's a mistake there. You wouldn't say that. I think there's a mistake, an error in these figures. So it's a polite way of suggesting there could be a mistake. I could be wrong, but, okay, useful phrase. And then finally, uh, in this first half of the lesson, um, when somebody is saying they could have done something or they could have been something, a profession, I could have been a ballet dancer, but something happened to stop me. Uh, a lot of people say, I could have done this, I could have done that. And then you think, well, why, why didn't you? Um, maybe the circumstances weren't right. Maybe uh, you needed um, money for it, which you didn't have. So there are lots of reasons why uh, people don't do what they could have done if they'd had the money, if they'd been in the right place at the right time with the right people, etc. So I could have been. That's a kind of conditional, but it's a conditional where it's already in the past and it's too late now. You can't go back and change it. So I could have been a ballet dancer, but it didn't happen. So, and that one reminded me of a famous scene in a film, the actor Marlon Brando, you may know this one, called On the Waterfront. Um, and he's sitting in the back of a car with, I think, his brother. And he's, um, he's saying what he could have been somebody. He could have really done something with his life. And now he's upset. He thinks it's too late. Something's gone wrong. So he says, I could have been a contender, meaning someone who really gets out there and does something, a contender. I could have been somebody rather than nobody. He feels he's nobody. I could have been somebody. So that's a famous example of could have been in a film. Um, and then to end this half of the lesson, um, the different forms for could have, that's the full form with no abbreviation, you can have it abbreviated, contracted, with could have, I could have, so could apostrophe V-E. So the apostrophe shows the missing letters, H-A. Could have, so you say could have, could have, just a V sound at the end. Could have, instead of could have, I could have, okay. Uh, and then um, sometimes, because the way spe people speak, they sometimes say, I could have, I could have done that, I could have done that, instead of could have, I could have, if they're speaking quickly. 
meaning I could have done that, I coulda. You may sometimes see this written down if, if someone's written down what somebody said and it sounded like coulda, you might see that in writing. But usually you will hear it when people are speaking. Um, and because of this one, unfortunately, uh, there's a terrible mistake that people put when they're writing and they put could of, which is completely wrong, okay? So please don't write could of, it should be could have. So could of makes no sense, the word of has nothing to do with what this is saying. So please don't put could of, that's, uh, that's completely wrong. So uh, be careful because also people say it like that, I could have, I could have. So it's could have here turning into could of there. And they even say, people even say it like an of, could of. And they write it that way too, could of, and it's completely wrong. So please avoid that uh, if you can. Right, so we'll just move on to the second part of the lesson where I have a little test for you. Okay. Okay, so here's the test uh, for you to use the word could in four different sentences. Uh, so let's look at the first one. So another way of saying it is I used to be able to swim underwater for a full minute. So if you're in the swimming pool, you go under the water, below the surface, and you can swim around underwater, holding your breath for a full minute. Okay, so I used to be, meaning at, at one time, I was able to, able to swim underwater for a full minute. So can you say that in um, a similar way, starting at one time, and then use the word could? At one time, Okay, so it's about I, so at one time I, so at one time I could, and then it goes on. At one time I could swim underwater for a full minute, okay. Full minute means a whole minute, 60 seconds, a complete minute. At one time, I could swim underwater for a full minute. Okay, right, so that's using can, could uh, as the past tense, I could at one time. Okay, right, next one. If you ask someone, to speak more slowly, what would you say? If you're asking someone to speak more slowly, politely asking them, speak more slowly. So you say, please. Please. So the word we want to use is could. So please could. Please could, and then we're speaking to another person, so we need the word for the other person. Please could you, okay? So please could you speak more slowly, okay? Right, so that's a polite request isn't it? You're being polite to the person, they're speaking too quickly, you're asking them, please, could you speak more slowly? Right. Next one, you want to tell somebody, someone, they are capable 
they are able, they have the possibility of writing a book. They know so much about a subject that you say, you know so much about that subject, you are capable, you are able, you would be able to write a book on that subject because you know so much and you're so interested in it. So it's encouraging them to go ahead, write a book. So what do you say to tell them that they're capable of writing a book? Using the word could, you, so you could, you could write, not writing this time, but you could write a book, okay? You could write a book on that subject. You know so much about it, okay? So that's a conditional because you, you could, the person may not decide, oh, right, I'll write a book then. They may think, oh, no, I can't, I can't do that. It's too much work. I'm not going to do that. But there's the possibility that they could write a book if they wanted to. Okay. And then finally, I had the chance, the opportunity to be in a Hollywood film, but it didn't happen. Something went wrong. They chose somebody else, as often happens. Um, it didn't happen. I had the chance, I had the opportunity. They were thinking of me, considering me. Um, this isn't true, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> but I had the chance to be in a Hollywood film, but it didn't happen. So how would you say that using the word could? I, you need several words here with could, could plus some other words. I Okay, so could comes first. I could mm -mm, in a Hollywood film. I could have I could have been. Okay, so I could have been in a Hollywood film but it didn't happen. Okay, so I, I hope that's been useful for you. So um, if you'd like to go to the website, ingvid.com, there's a quiz there. In addition to this test we've just done, there's a quiz on this subject. So please go and try the quiz and see how you do. And please subscribe to my channel if you've enjoyed this lesson. And thanks for watching. See you again soon. Bye.